Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Dr. Alessandro. And in this video, we're gonna be discussing maybe a question that we hear occasionally from patients, not, not too often, but it is something of clinical importance. So whenever we are trying to make patients a denture or perhaps make a crown, get do a crown for a patient or a bridge or an implant crown or something along those lines, uh, we hear the question, hey doc, what is that paste that you're kind of piping into my mouth? Or, you know, hey doc, what is this with this bite registration thing? So basically what we're doing for all you patients, a bite registration is, think of it as an imprint of your teeth that a laboratory is gonna to use to make a crown, make an implant crown, make a bridge, make a denture. Uh, they're basically trying to see how your teeth fit together or how your jaws relate to one another. Uh, so that is the basic purpose of what's called a bite registration. It's to basically get your bite down. Now, what we want you to do, and I'll explain this as we go as well during the video uh, while I'm showing the demonstration, what we want you to do is we want you to relax and think of how you bring your teeth together naturally. So the object is to get your teeth together or move your jaws in such a way as if they were closing down naturally as they once did if you are doing dentures and didn't, do not anymore have teeth. Um, but basically, we're trying to see how the pieces of the puzzle fit together, how the teeth come together and work together, function together. So that's the purpose of a bite registration whenever we're doing a crown, a bridge, a denture, you name it, uh, a partial denture. You know, we want to see how everything fits and works together. So that's the basic purpose of a bite registration. Now, what I'm about to show you is how we do it for a crown. Now, we do it in different ways for dentures. We do it in different ways for bridges. Uh, there are a whole bunch of different materials and techniques. So I'm just going to show you one general basic type that we do. Um, again, we all learn in different schools. We all learn different techniques. We all learn with different materials. So what I'm showing you here uh, may not be done at your office. It may be done in a totally different manner. Uh, so there are all, all sorts of different ways to get to the same good result, ideal result, you know, what we want, something that works for you as a patient. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what we do. Okay, so here I have a generically prepared tooth, prepared for a crown, could be gold, could be porcelain, very generically. Um, this is a typonaut, so it's of course nobody's real mouth or jaw. Typonaut very generously provided by a dental student at Temple University who is entering his second year. So we have this tooth that's been generically prepared for some sort of a crown. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to basically get this bite registration with one method. Now, I'm going to be using a material called Blueprint. Uh, some people know it as Blue Moose. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like. Here we go. This is Blueprint. And this is the syringe that we use. So if you're a patient, you've seen this, you know what it is. So what we do, now everybody's a little bit different. Some people have their patients open up and then they pipe this material in all over the place, um, you know, hopefully not too messily. And then they have the patient closed down, you know, like I said, normally, like they normally bite down. Um, so that's what some people do. Uh, I do things a little bit differently, so I'll show you that. So in a few seconds, what I'm gonna do is I have the patient open like they usually do. Now, I don't want the patient when they bite down, you ask them to bite down. Don't do what the kids do. The kids will, you know, they'll swing things forward and try to make the front teeth meet together and everything. Um, I think you all know what that looks like. Um, it's kind of amusing. It's entertaining. We all get a laugh out of it. But, but what we want the patient to do is to open. So I have my patients. I ask them to go ahead and open. And they do. And... Instead of piping it all over the place and all over the tops of the teeth, what I do is I pipe the material. As you can see, it's coming out right from the tip. I pipe it so that it is more along the sides of the tooth than on the top of the tooth. Now, some goes on the top of the tooth because I want it to, but it's more along the sides of the tooth than on the top. Then I'll have my patient close down. And there we go. Now this material tends to set pretty quickly. It tends, within 45 seconds it's set. Sometimes, 
and usually I'll also, I'll be kind of working the jaw a little bit, so I'll be playing with the tissue of the jaw to kind of push it more against the teeth. Um, it's called, that's called muscle molding, if you want to call it that. Um, that gets kind of a, a better fit to the teeth, uh, but everybody's a little bit different again, so some people do, some people don't. And this sets pretty quickly, and again, um, our materials generally will set faster when it's warmer. So in the summertime, when it is warm and it's warmer in the building, um, this will set faster. So uh, 45 seconds is the usual time and we are getting close to that. So I test it, just a little bit softer. And again, it doesn't have the warmth of the mouth to help it out. So 45 seconds when you're doing it in the mouth, but it could take a little bit longer. In fact, on my finger, I can actually show you it's peeling because my finger's warm. So with my finger, it's warm. And when my I have gloves on my finger, which I would with a patient, but here we're not dealing with an actual live patient. Um, I normally have gloves on, but this is a special occasion for demonstration. So no gloves today, but you know, whenever I'm with patients, my gloves are on. That is just how it is. So we'll check it again. It looks like there's a little bit of gloss, but it's almost done. And indeed, it is almost done. So we'll feel it periodically sometimes as, as it's setting to make sure we've got, we've got things set. Like I said, very, very close to where it needs to be. And then once it is set, then we instruct the patient to go ahead and open. And once they do, we have one of us, either myself or my assistant, will retrieve it. And it is almost there. Again, it takes a little bit longer when it's not in the mouth, the mouth warms things up, but it does set faster with warmth. So then once it is set, we go ahead and have the patient open up and we remove the registration. And this is set to the laboratory. So you can see this is kind of what it looks like. You get an idea that, okay, so now we can see the teeth above it. Now we can see actually the prepared tooth as well. We can see how it was prepared. So this is what we use. This is our bite registration. And the laboratory will use this because we're going to be sending impressions or molds to a laboratory. A laboratory will use this to find out how the teeth all fit together and then to make a crown, bridge, or you, know, you name it, whichever it is, based upon that. So there you have it. That is what a bite registration is. Okay, so I showed you one technique of how to get a bite registration. So hopefully you learned something. And um, now again, you know, many different people do this in many different ways. And I just showed you one material. Uh, it's called Blueprint. Uh, there's also Blue Moose, which is uh, basically the same thing, same color, just a different name. Um, and I'm sure there are lots of other materials which do the same exact thing, probably the same exact base type of material, but come in different colors and may set a little bit slower or faster depending on who the manufacturer is or what the dentist wants. Uh, some dentists want it to go really, really quickly. Others are okay with a little bit more working time. So that said, I appreciate you joining me on this video. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you're all staying well and healthy.